Hi there, grade 6 pupils! Welcome back again to another video lesson. So we are now on uh, week 5 of our discussion for grade 6 mathematics quarter 2. So for this video lesson, we will be discussing on how to describe the exponent and the base in a number expressed in exponential notation. So kung ano yung difference ng exponent and then base and then how we express uh, numbers in exponential notations will be discussed on this video lesson. So let's start. So for our lesson objective, at the end of this video lesson, pupils, you are expected to describe the exponent and the base in a number expressed in exponential notation. So let us first discuss the definition of base and exponent. Base is the number used as a repeated factor. On the other hand, exponent refers to the number of times a number is used as a factor. So for us to be able to understand the difference between base and exponent, let us have an example. For example, 5 cubed the base is 5 and the exponent is 3. So dito, yung 5 po ang nagsisilbing base. Again, from its definition, base is the number used as a repeated factor. Okay, so paano nagre-repeat yung base? Siyempre, nakadepende po yan sa exponent niya. So siyempre, kung ang exponent lang ng 5 ng base is 1, hindi siya pwedeng maulit kasi 5 raised to 1 that is equal to 5. Pero kapag 5 raised to 2, to 3, and so on, kung ano man ang kanyang magiging exponent or power, so syempre, makikita natin na ginagamit siya na nagre-repeat. Say for example, 5 raised to 3, magiging 5 times 5 times 5. So tatlong beses nag-repeat yung factor na 5. Kasi nga, 5 raised to 3. And then, yung ating given, Pwede po siyang basahin as 5 raised to the third power, 5 raised to the power of 3, or 5 to the third power. And then, uh, ang pinakamabilis lang naman na para paraan para matandaan sila, basta yung number na, na nakasulat sa itaas, ang tawag po dun ay exponent or power. Yung nasa iba ba, lagi po yung base. So, exponential expression consists of a base and exponent. So, ang tawag po natin dyan, dun sa given natin kanina, yung 5 raised to the third power, that is an exponential expression. Wherein, meron po siyang base, meron din po siyang exponent or power. So, yung power and then exponent, ayon, Pareho lang po sila. Power or exponent. So, let's have an example. 2 raised to the fourth power, 3 squared, and 6 cubed. These are examples of exponential expressions. Exponential notation is a convenient way of writing larger and smaller numbers for, comp for easier computations. Okay, so ginagamit po natin expo exponential notation para maisolve natin ng mabilis or maisulat natin ng mabilis yung mga larger tsaka yung mga smaller number. Say, for example, we have 1 million. So, 1 million can be written as 10 raised to the 6th power. So, kapag in-express natin yung 10 raised to the 6th power, that is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Times 10. So, bakit ganyan kahaba? It's because yung ating exponent dito is 6. So, 6 times po, multiply yung 10 sa sarili niya. Okay. So, kapag minultiply natin yan ng 6 times, ang lilitaw po na product is 1 million. So, take note. So, dapat nating tandaan, any number raised to 0, the answer is always 1. So, kahit anong number pa yan, basta ang exponent niya or power is 0, the answer is always 
1. Say for example, 2 raised to 0, the answer is 1. 12 raised to 0, that is equal to 1. 500 raised to 0, the answer is 1. Tandaan po natin, any number, kahit anong number. Ni raise po yan sa 0. 0 ang kanyang exponent or power, the answer is always 1. So, for us to understand the concepts discussed a while ago, let's have the following activities. So, for activity number one, write the following expressions in expanded form. So, say for example, this one, meron tayong table dito. On the left uh, side, we have their exponential notation, wherein it consists of a base and an exponent. And then, paano ang expanded form? So, sa expanded form po, ibig sabihin po niyan, yung 5 raised to the 4th power, is isusulat po natin siya na makikita natin na nagre-repeat siya 4 times. So, that is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Ayan. And expand siya. Kasi yung exponential notation, shortcut siya. 7 square, that is 7 times 7. So, syempre, kung paano natin sinusulat yung expanded form, syempre, nakabase po yan doon sa exponent. So, kung ilang beses, kung ano yung exponent na nakasulat, yun po ang uh, times na isusulat natin siya doon sa expanded form. So, as you can see, doon sa first given natin, 5 raised to the 4th power, 4 times natin sinulat yung uh, 5. Kasi five, uh, 4 times natin multiply yung 5 sa sarili niya. And then, 7 squared, that is 7 times 7. Kasi, 2 lang po ang kanyang exponent. Ito siya. Next, 3 to the 5th power, that is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Kasi, 5 ang kanyang exponent. Next, 10 cubed, that is 10 times 10 times 10. And then, last one, we have... 2 raised to the 7th power. Okay, that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, so 7 times. And then, kapag sinabi na uh, evaluate the following uh, exponential notation, si ibig sabihin, yung 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 is sasagutin natin sila. Okay, so ganun lang po yun. Say, for example, let's have the following activity. Evaluate the following expressions. So, yan. Given pa rin exponential notation. So, this time, hindi lang po natin isusulat yung expanded form. Ibig sabihin, sasagutin natin kung ano nga ba yung sagot kapag yung 2 ni-raise natin sa 6. So, 2, two raised to 6, that is 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 2, times 2. So, this time, sasagutin natin kung ano ang uh, 2 raised to the 6th power. So, let's have 2 times 2. So, 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, 32, times 2, we have 64. So, ibig sabihin, ang 2 raised to the 6th power equal po siya sa 64. Next, 8 cubed, that is 8 times 8 times 8. So, let's have 8 times 8 first. So, the product of 8 and 8 is 64. And then, multiplying it again by 8, the answer will be 512. So, therefore, 8 cubed or 8 to the third power, that is equal to 512. Next, 5 to the 4th power. That is equal to 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5, that is 25. Times 5, 125. And another 5, that will be equal to 625. Next, 
let's have 10 to the fifth power. 10 raised to the fifth power, that is, that is equal to 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. 10 times 10, that is 100. And then times 10, 1,000. 1,000 times 10, that is 10,000. And then 10,000 times 10, we have 100,000. So 100,000. Then finally, we have 6 cubed or 6 to the third power. That is 6 times 6 times 6. So the product of 6 and 6, that is 36. And then times 6 again, we have 216. 6 cubed or 6 to the third power, that is equal to 216. So let's have the final activity. So activity 3. Evaluate the following expressions if A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 5. So evaluate the following expressions. So ito po yung ating mga given expressions. Say for example, we have number 1, C cubed. So ang gagawin lang po natin is isa-substitute natin yung value ng C. Dun sa C. So based dito sa ating given, A is equal to 3, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 5. So if C equals 5, then C cubed equals 5 cube or 5 times 5 times 5. So, kung i-multiply natin yung 5 3 times, our answer will be 125. 5 times 5, that is 25 times 5, 125. Therefore, C cube is equal to 125. 25. Next, b to the 4th power. So, b to the 4th power, that is equal to 2 raised to the 4th power since the value of b is 2. And then, that will become 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, 8, and then another 2 we have 16. So, b to the 4th power is equal to 16. Next, number 3, a squared plus 4c. So, a squared plus 4c. So, substitute natin yung mga value ng a and c. So, for a, that is 3. a is equal to 3. So, magiging 3 squared plus 4 times the value of c. That is equal to 5. 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, 9. Plus 4 times 5, 20. So, a squared plus 4c is equal to 9 plus 20. So, pag in natin yung 9 tsaka 20, that is equal to 29. Next, number 4, a cubed minus b squared. So, sana nasusundan natin yung uh, steps. No? Madali lang naman ang pag-substitute and pag-evaluate ng mga expressions na yan. Since given naman yung ating mga values for a, b, and c. So, let's have number 4. So, a cubed minus b squared. So, the value of a is 3. So that is 3 to the third power minus the value of b, that is 2, squared. 3 cubed, that is 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9 times 3, 27. Minus 2 squared or 2 times 2, 4. 27 minus 4, that is equal to 23. So a cubed minus b squared equals 23. Next, for the last example, we have b to the fifth power plus 3a squared. So, b to the fifth power plus 3a squared. 
that is equal to the value of D, 2, so 2 to the fifth power, plus 3 times the value of A, 3, raised to 2. Next, 2 to the fifth power, that is, uh, we will be multiplying to 5 times 2 itself. So 2 times 2, that is 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16, times 2, 32, plus 3 times uh, the square of 3, that is 9, so 3 times 3, that is 9. 32 plus the product of 3 and 9, that is 27. And then finally, we will just add 32 and 27. So 32 and 27, that is 59. B to the P power plus 3A square, that is equal to 59. So I hope you've learned something from this video lesson. And then what is the difference between base and exponent? And then how do we write exponential uh, notation in expanded form? And then how to evaluate exponential notation? And then how to evaluate expressions? So if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. So put your questions or type in your questions on the comment box and then I will uh, make time for 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 those questions and then para matulungan ko kayo kung meron man kayong mga katanungan. So on the next video lesson, we shall now proceed to interpreting the gem dust rule and performing two or more different operations. So kaya inuna natin yung discussion natin syempre sa base and exponent kasi po related po kasi kadugtong ng ating discussion dito yung base and exponent yung nasa gem dust rule so kung aning gem dust rule na yan i-discuss ko po yan sa ating susunod na video lesson so yun lang maraming salamat